welcome to another episode of the Aladdin Tech Videos. Today we're gonna get a closer look into the universal dimmer from Aladdin. We're gonna show you the dimmer, how it's uh, operated, how to set for different panels, how to set up a DMX on the channel. So we start to take a closer look on the dimmer. So the dimmer is all, al all aluminium. It has a display and two operator buttons. On the other side, a three of an eight uh, thread to uh, mount it to a clamp. Then we have um, DC input and two uh, DMX in and out and slots to put the antenna on. So at the moment we're running on the DC. So we have the the power supply for 90 to 260 volts, so it's attached to the back. So if I want to, uh, to run it from my main power, I can attach it to the power unit. So if I want to run the whole thing from batteries, there are several options available. So one uh, is the V-mount battery. So the dimmer is available in two types. One type is with the V-mount plate and the other dimmer will be with the gold mount plate. So from V-mount there are two options because the dimmer runs from 12 to 30 volt. So we, there is a, for instance FX line, they offer 14.8 volt V-mount batteries or 26 volt batteries. So in here attach the, the battery to it and the dimmer will work. So 14.8 or 26 volt. Another option would be to, um, to use a big power block. So here we use the uh, mega battery. The mega battery is a um, 640 watt hour battery. So we use an adapter cable. We're coming out from the 28 volt output and we go to the uh, DC and we are able to run the dimmer from the mega battery. So that's the few power options we get. So now since it's a universal dimmer, we have the possibility to uh, operate several different panels with the dimmer. So we can run a Biflex 4, a Biflex 2 and the new fabric light. So just to show you on the display, when I turn on the dimmer, it indicates me what type of uh, panel is set. So if I want to run another panel, for instance, the um, Biflex 2, oh, it runs. I have to go to the menu first and then set to Biflex 2 so it doesn't overdrive the panel. Very important. Plug in and it works. So always make sure if you use the dimmer with different panels to uh, look at the display if the setting is right. If I want to use it with the fabric light, put the two Biflex my side, so here, same thing, go to the DMX menu, set to fabric 200, it restarts the dimmer, and plug in the fabric and I have full control. So for the control of the panels, there are the two big dimming knobs, one is for intensity, and the other one for color temperature. So it indicates me on the side, on the display, where I am in uh, color temperature from about 2900 to 6100 Kelvin. And it shows me how many percentage is the dimming. So if I want to remote control the whole system, I have uh, two possibilities. One is traditional DMX with 5-pin um, XLR. So I go to the DMX in the bottom 
I make sure address is 001. I can change address if I need. I want to be 001. The dimmer will take two channels. So it will be 001, 002. So if you want to operate a separate panel, the next address will be 003. Go to the menu, set to cable. It will uh, restart the dimmer again. And there we are. So now I can take my little DMX board where we plugged in. So one is dimming and the other will be call temperature. So more interesting is the wireless application. So again, unplug. And for the wireless, we, are, uh, we use um, a standard uh, Lumen Radio. Uh, Lumen Radio will be the, um, the wireless DMX, what is uh, most common in TV studios and uh, movie productions. So I put the antenna on to extend the range. Um, then I need a um, Lumen Radio transmitter. So we work together here with Exalux. They provide us a DMX transmitter. So this one I will need to run on DC or AC. So we're gonna use a AC. Start the dimmer, then for uh, controlling the panel, I will use my um, DMX port and I need to set the dimmer on wireless. I keep the address 001, go radio. So with the up and down, you change, it resets to the Lumen Radio settings. Then I go to radio, uh, RF link reset, yes. P press the connect button on the Exalux connect and it will take a few seconds till they uh, connect together. So now we should be connected together, let's see. There we are. So we have a wireless connection between uh, the transmitter and our dimmer through the Lumen Radio. So I'm able to control again on channel one dimming, channel two will be um, the bicolor. Okay, that's how you connect um, DMX through the wire with the Exalux through Lumen Radio with the dimmer. So now when you want to go completely wireless, Exalux offers a Wi-Fi module, the Connect One. So let me power this. So we go, we disconnect the Lumen radio transmitter from Exalux and connect directly to the, the Wi-Fi, the Connect One from Lumen uh, Exalux. So they're still connected through Lumen radio the dimmer and the transmitter. So if I want to control the whole setup from my uh, mobile phone, I go to the menu and I choose the Connect One Wi-Fi. So it connects to this Wi-Fi. Then I go to the DMX Connect app from Exalux and I able to control the light from my smartphone. Again, I still have address 001, so it's gonna be the first and the second channel. First for dimming, second one for color. So that's how I set up the DMX wire, completely wireless to use my smartphone with the system. Yeah, that's about the dimmer. Thank you for uh, watching our video and see you next time.